Hey, we just released a new JavaScript SDK that allows you to talk with Bayes and Drive directly from your front end. So you don't need any um, micro or backend code to be able to talk um, with Bayes or Drive, which means you don't need the uh, you need you don't need them to save data and retrieve it. And I will show you how it works using a really simple uh, toy app um, I've built. So uh, you could um, install. Um, you can install the new SDK in, in your React or Svelte project and import it and, and just use it. Uh, but here I'm just using, uh, just creating a really simple example. So I'm creating um, a note app. So it's an app just takes one note and saves it to um, to MySpace. So <clears throat> I have a very simple HTML file here which I will use to host all the code needed uh, for this app so um, I have I already went ahead and, and wrote the CSS for it and the HTML and um, during this video I will implement the logic um, cool so as you can see my project has only one uh, this one file um, and I want to be able to I'm um, I uh, want to be able to preview my changes as uh, as I'm developing. So to do this, I would like to um, emulate space here. So um, make sure you have space installed and you have uh, the space CI installed and you are on the latest version. It's really important that you are on the latest version for this to work. And go ahead and create a new space project. So this is just... Uh, it's not going to push your code or anything. It just creates like some simple conf configuration. And this helps us also emulate space on your local system. Um, so it, the CLI went ahead and created uh, some c configuration for me, um, mainly the space file. And um, I would like to add one thing to help me emulate it locally, which is... Um, since this is a, a static file, I want a way to preview it. So to do this, uh, I'm using um, this built-in uh, Python module called HTTP.server. And I would like to run this on the port given by uh, the CI. So in your case, just copy, copy this or type it as is and it should work. So now if I do space dev, I will be able to preview the app. So this is this is the app, nothing fancy. As I told you, it's a note app, not a notes app. So yeah, I'm just gonna open the console here. Okay, so what I wanna do is a note app. So just write hello and um, I want this message to be saved in my in my base, and every time I open, I open this page or like I, I open my app, I want it to be there. So, like to show you that it doesn't work. Well, if I refresh the page, the message is gone. So let's implement the logic using the new SDK, um, and I do have uh, a handy note here with all with it, everything I need. So. Um, yeah, so since this is just like a static uh, page, there's no build stop, um, we have the option to just import base directly from the CDN or drive. So let's paste this in and hide this bar. And then let's uh, get going with the implementation. So first, as you're used with, with base for JavaScript, inside your Node app, you can just um, instantiate base. So do const db equals um, base and oh, sorry, and give it a cool name like notes. Um, and by the way, you can create as many bases as you want um, this way. Okay, so we created a database, um, and now um, so we want to so we want to store the value of uh, so whenever we change something, uh, write a note. Uh, we want we want it to be saved in base. Okay, how do we do this? So first, let's grab the value, so the message here, from the text area. 
So to do this, um, we use um, we grab the element. So I already put a put an ID. So um, const add, which is our editor uh, document dot get element by ID add. So this is this will be um, this will contain the the message. So the the actual uh, not message but the note it's 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 in add dot value okay oh now I add value cool so we'll 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 take it in a bit and okay so <clears throat> so now um, really that's everything we kind of need uh, in terms of setup so now we just need to save this um, this this note to base. Uh, the question is, when do you save it? I mean, you could uh, save it whenever something changes, uh, but I think a better idea is to um, just ha uh, do it on an interval. So every second or every half a second, um, just save it to, to base. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to just... Uh, I'm going to just look at the implementation here. So basically this is this is the logic uh, i'm i'm gonna start with the simpler logic and then and then improve on it so let's do set set interval uh give it a f uh, async function because we want to call base in an e async way um, okay and then we'll give it the interval we'll start with 500 milliseconds first what did i do um, okay, um, is this because we don't have a, this, this interesting looking self-executing function? Let's see if this is, if this is true. Uh, close it, close it, call it semicolon and then we'll wrap our logic with it oh, sorry. okay yeah looks like it so every 500 milliseconds i want to save my node to base that's that's pretty much it so um let's do it so db dot put I will use a key since we have only one note. We can just give it uh, well, a known key. In this case, I will call it note, and then the va the value, which is note, will be our um, add, which is our text area. It's add dot value. Okay. So and this will be. A comma. Okay, so now if let's refresh this and then you will see hopefully no errors. You'll see that you know we're talking with base. And as you can see there's no authentication error or anything. So it's already I'm already talking with base. Um, of course it's thanks to us using space dev. So let's actually write something and see uh, actually let me show you the request. So the request is um, there's nothing there. Uh, it's empty. Um, but if I if I write something or like hello world, and I grab one of the latest ones. Oh, sorry, I have a lot of requests. Come on, okay, now you can see it. Hello world. So that's pretty cool. So I'm already sending <coughs> data to uh, to base, and also I'm getting. Uh, so this is essential confirmation that the item was saved to base. So now what would be cool is um, to so if if uh, if I refresh the page, the message is gone actually, and now it's actually deleting the the message. So w what would be cool is when I load the page, I get um, I get the message from uh, from the database. So to do this, I have this one liner that's pretty cool. I think it's two liners, uh, but I'm two okay. So Basically, you can get the message with um, db.get, you await it, 
and then um, we get the 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 field node, so the actual node. I don't need the key. Um, so let's do this. So let's get the node first. So um, and the 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 question mark here. I don't know what it's called, but this question mark just checks if um, you know it 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 gives me the the uh, the property note if um, if the the item exists in the database right um, and then this line we set the value of um, the text area with, with the content we got from from base so if I save this I refresh it's empty but if I type something and then refresh wow okay so the value is there so I'm already saving and retrieving um, data from from base that's pretty cool uh, but it's it's quite inefficient because I'm calling base every 500 milliseconds even though nothing has changed really so probably uh, it's a better idea to only you know call base when something has changed so to do this uh, um, okay so to do this we can implement a really simple uh, logic here and essentially we um, we check if the value has changed and if, if the current editor value is not um, it's not the same as the value um, is the current editor value so the, the content in the in the editor itself is not the same as what's stored in the database and what's stored in the database um, you know, we, we kind of set it every time we save. Uh, hopefully I explained this well. So, um, yeah, so essentially uh, we need to wrap db.put, which is the logic that calls base in a if statement. So if add dot value not equals equals um, note, so the note variable here, then um, then please save and then also very important that every every, every time we save uh, to base uh, we also um, set the the node variable to be the state so so node equals at dot value and now uh, if I refresh you can see that it's not well at first <coughs> We got the message, so hello again. That's pretty cool. So we didn't break, uh, we didn't break it. Uh, but also, what you what you saw is that only when we when something has changed, we talk with with base. So we still run every five hundred milliseconds, um, and you can make it a bit faster if you want. Uh, originally, I put it to hundred, but I think five hundred is pretty good. Yeah, two hundred fifty. So five hundred is pretty good. So Every time I save, it's it's saved in base, and that's pretty much it. So, we have an app that is pretty efficient, uh, that is um, easy to use and and secure, and I didn't have to do any backend or any authentication. So, actually, what we should do now is just release it to the world. What do you think? Um, so, what do we do to release it? Okay, uh, I think we uh, we we need we need a cool icon, of course, like. I think that's mandatory so I do have an icon here so I'm just gonna drop it here and call it icon you don't have to call it icon but I like to call it icon put it to my in my space file icon um, icon png and make sure your icon is 512 uh, by 512 pixels Cool, and so let's uh, let's release uh, let's well let's push our app first. So space push to test it works that it works on uh, that it works on space. And since we're using um, so space push will will create a builder instance for me, um, and here I'm using you know the builder instance to test locally, so. I will be able to see the same data in my in my builder instance. So we'll take a look at it. 
So it takes a few minutes to, to push my, my app to space. Okay, awesome. I think we're there. Uh, you could click here, but what I want to do is go to, well, it showed up here. So that's our new app, Frame. It's a pretty cool app. Took us a couple minutes to build. And wow, it already works. So every time I go here and, uh, I don't know, write something, uh, it's, it's there and I can open it on my phone. Cool, and as uh, promised, let's uh, let's release it so you can install it as well. So, space release. It will ask us for a name, I think. Yes, please. I want to release it. Name. Uh, call it frame. Right. That's the name. That's the name of that frame. And the description, a note app. I think that's a good name. Cool, and. Uh, Oh, I forgot something, but I think that's fine. Uh, you can, so what, what Space Release did, it created a discovery file for me, um, and you can add, add a theme color if you want. Maybe you do it. Um, I think this color looks good. Okay, awesome, so this link, anybody with this link can install the app and use it. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a fully functioning app. You don't need to worry about security. You don't need to worry about tokens. You don't need to worry about build steps, none of this. You don't need even to worry about uh, JavaScript files. You just write the logic directly in uh, your script tag, all thanks to the new um, JavaScript SDK. Awesome. So if you need uh, to read more about this, please check our uh, new uh, blog post slash changelog and sh check the docs and I'm gonna try to put some um, helpful links in the description. Thank you. Cheers.